rest of you passing it on between each other. One thing I want you to do is to give each of you your uh, email numbers so that you can converse amongst yourselves because as a team, you're going to learn so much more from your mistakes and what you see in others, the mistakes they're making, and how they can best channel what is good about what they're doing. It's a wonderful opportunity. Nothing works like a team. We're like a hive full of ants, right? We have this special power. So let's use it for all it's worth. Now, I guess, I guess we could get right down to it. Let's start with Patty, because he is, the, as usual, the most interesting. Did you all get Patty's, uh, <laughs> did, 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 do you have your little machines? If, if, uh, if all of you could get your machines out, it would help. Well, we have the actual you painting. The painting. Oh, you have the actual yeah, painting? Put that up, too. Yeah. Put it up. Uh, the painting's finished, yeah. In a good place. You're kind of in the spot where I was well, going to put it up there behind no you, problem. so if you wanted to shift over this way a bit, well, and I'll shift soon. this way, and then you can both make room for it. Hey. Ah. Blood red lips. Yes. Okay. That's actually it's, it's actually better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, I thought that Patty's initial impasto, mm -hmm. fantastically loose and free, uh, thick paint around the eyes was incredible. Thank you. Why the hell did you cover it up? <laughs> because I couldn't it, help it. No, it was the, my my whole process from the beginning was to layer and layer and layer. Okay. And that was one of the many layers. And then I think that okay, way. It, you know, that's a very interesting. Do you know the word pentimento? I've heard it from you. Okay. It just is simple. It means underpainting. And every old master, one of the any worth of salt, is it means change of mind, doesn't it, Italiano? Oh, is that what it means? Yeah. 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 So the, the artist changed his mind. And that track of what he had left, Ghost now with the X-ray machines, they have <coughs> the <coughs> fabulous things about paintings. So yeah, Pentimento. Absolutely, there's, there's something to that. I don't see a lot of texture left in it. Did you flatten that down a little bit? Um, I would have mixed the paint around. I mean, I can see the texture from where I'm sitting. And can you? It may, it may be just the angle. I, yeah, if yeah. I get over this way more, I see it. Yeah, I mean, there's... Quite a lot of paint on there. Oh yeah, good. Let's see. Let's get a good look. Let me see that. Oh yeah, okay, that's much better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now you're talking a bit. Yeah. Okay. This, there's a lot you can do with this. There's a lot you can do with this. You can make this. You can save it. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, thought you'd ruin it. I'm very <laughs> angry at you for losing. The drag down here, mm -hmm. the plop there, they're your paints, right? Yeah. Plop here, dash, that was fantastic. The eyes are the key to every portrait. You must remember this, this is the most important thing. That for a portrait to really become alive, the eyes have to talk to you. Now eyes can talk better than lips, okay? The window to the soul and all that business. So the wilder you get them, now, here, I'm going to show up. Put this one up on the uh, old uh, machine over there. I'm going to have you look at this at a distance, but just look at the eyes. Now, what are those eyes saying? Or anything. Maybe some of you don't think it's saying anything at all. Let's have a little round robin. Anybody who wants to dive in that they think those eyes might be saying. I think she's fearful. Fearful? Yeah. Good one. Good one. I can see that. I didn't see it before. I think she's angry. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Really, really angry. Why is she waking she's up so early or something? She's yeah. Scary. Oh, yeah. I yeah. She's Fierce. She's plotting. She's thinking of. Yeah, yeah she's, she's also thinking. thinking. I think she's been plotting and there's something coming down the line for her. You fellows are marvelous. I call you all fellows, and I think of you all as guys. There's no sexism here. Uh, you know, in the old days, and not that long ago, women weren't allowed to go into our classes. They were not allowed. In the 20th century, uh, no women. Largely because of the uh, Edwardian uh, moralistic uh, code and the naked models that were the key to teaching art in art schools at that time. And still, 
It's good news. Did you tell them the story about the ad that the Brooklyn Gazette? No, no, I haven't told that story yet. Tell that story when you're having your tea. It's a, it's a funny story. Anyway, yeah, but women were really third-class citizens, and more than third-class, because they kept them out of art schools. And since then, look at where they've come. Some, I think, uh, have gotten uh, far forward on the wings of their gender more than their talent or their skill. Or... But nevertheless, there's been some wonderful ones. And Georgia O'Keeffe was uh, ethnicity of us and uh, did a very important female artist. If you ever like to look at her on the, on the net, you would be impressed with the way uh, she, she did bones, you know. <laughs> She did cow skulls and things in the desert. She lived in the desert. And it reminds me of the Deirdre's picture here. Let's, let's get Deirdre's up. You get the eye business, right? I mean, I don't have to go on and on about it. It's in the eye. And that only happens if you do it as Patty did it. He didn't give a damn. OK? You can't try too hard. Trying too hard kills it every time. There's got to be a spontaneity and a risk taking that you don't care if you fail. Say, oh, shh. Sugar. I got that in the wrong spot. You know? Right. You don't care. You don't try to fix it. You just let it happen. And then, then comes the softening. Okay? And here's a good point, uh, case in point. I've, I've had a chance to look at all. You see it all there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not all of them. Yeah, I haven't seen yours. Or yours. I've seen Patty's. I know what Bernard can do. I've done this. Did you do something? Oh, you're <laughs> Oh, well, I gotta see that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Me too. All right, one more time. One <laughs> and and time. Siobhan and Deanna and John, of course. All right, uh, but see what Deirdre's done. She's t she took the challenge on in a psychological way, and she realized that women's greatest skill is the way they present themselves. <laughs> uh, art was invented by women, who decided a little black around the eyes was a very alluring thing. And they dipped their finger in charcoal and uh, voila, they had made up. And that started the whole thing going, making themselves attractive to men, sexually attractive to men. Uh, and there's no more important thing. This is how we survive. This is why uh, the European race is dying out, because apparently we've lost interest in sex or something. I, I don't know what's uh, wrong with us. There's something desperately wrong with us. And uh, we're, we're dying, not with a bang, but a whimper. Uh, this country does a little bit of the most, but look at the difference. <laughs> the appearances have what, 37 children? 30, Grand 37 grandchildren? Yeah, now those were the old women. They were heroic. Nowadays we have career women who, uh, who are missing out on the great.